Ah, uh, uh, I didn't expect you to be out here. I'll, uh, uh, fuck it. I, uh, can I bum a smoke off you? Don't have any on me. Uh, of course you don't smoke. Of course. Well, what am I meant to do then? Stand here like a lemon? Fresh air? <laughs> we're right next to a main road. All we're breathing in is petrol fumes. Probably no worse than cigarette smoke. How do you find a way to be positive even about this? <sighs> Insufferable. Take a deep breath? Why? I, I don't want to fill my lungs with carcinogens. Yes, I smoke. Why? Oh. <sighs> yeah, I guess you got me there. Can't pretend to care about that. Okay, fine, but why? I'm sure a few rows of trees either side of the road aren't going to make that much difference to the smell. But okay. Hmm, okay. I kind of see what you're talking about. I mean, it does mostly smell like petrol fumes, but I guess I can smell the trees too. They smell good after rain. And yes, I know the word for that. And no, I'm not going to say it. Because you want me to, don't you? You either want me to say the word, or you want to be able to tell me the word. But I already know the word. I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> don't want to give you the pleasure. People like you always seem to love that fucking word. Oh, the smell of trees and dirt after rainfall. So romantic. Get over yourself. Okay, fine. Sorry. It's a nice smell. Thank you for drawing my attention to it. <laughs> Once again, I'm astounded at your ability to see the good in something like this. It's just such a grey night. Clouds, rain and pollution. And it's hardly been sunny all day. Oh, uh, okay. Here we go. You're going to tell me all the nice, fluffy things I'm not noticing. Go ahead. I'm already so used to this, I'm sure it won't affect me. Uh, <laughs> fine. Yes, the reflections of the car headlights on the road. Does look kind of cool. Mm. Yeah, the moonlight occasionally breaking through a hole in the cloud cover is nice too. Very pretty. And yes, before you say it, the rain does make a nice sound. Okay? Fine. You win again. I don't know what I expected. I keep fiddling with my hands. Almost putting them to my mouth. Don't know what to do when I don't have a smoke in situations like this. Ugh, no, it's just... When there's nothing else to do and you have to focus on whoever you're with, you know? Don't know what to do in situations like that. A cigarette is a good crutch. I don't know why I'm telling you all this stuff anyway. I don't know much about you, other than you don't stop smiling. And... Somehow you make me smile a little. And you've got that little mole on you. Well, you know. <laughs> Look, I don't pretend not to be a bit of a stereotype, okay? At this point, I'm embracing it. it seems like you are too. And that's okay. Well, I think everybody can seem like that a little on the surface. It's easy to apply, uh, I don't know, preconception of someone based on their most obvious traits. But for most people, almost everyone, that will dissolve when you get to know them. And, you know, for a while, I thought that was a bad thing, because people will put on a happy face, but then, when you actually get to know them, you realise it was a lie. 
and at first I thought, surely this is how it will be with you as well. But something feels a bit different. You're really serious about all this positive thinking, aren't you? It is actually who you are. I wish I understood how you were like this. I... <laughs> Part of me wants to be like that myself. But then another, bigger, angrier part fights that with all it's got. Ah, uh, I just always seem to spend my time either by myself or with other people like me. So, you know, miserable, cynical fucks. Perhaps I should... Perhaps I should spend more time with people like you. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know, I'm, I'm just trying to be a little more positive. Change my outlook a bit. I thought if I hung out with people like you more, the positivity would rub off on me or something. Hmm. <laughs> Trouble is, I'm not sure how I could stand it for that long. I mean, you're cute and all, but could I really deal with you for more than ten minutes at a time? Fifteen tops. Okay, I... No, we spent more time than that together last night. But, you know, it's not like we were making conversation. N no, I'm not being that serious. God, there really is something about you. It brings out this side of me that... Ah, fuck, I've been over this. Well, it's just... Normally, I don't really give a shit about saying things that might hurt someone... I mean, I don't actually want to hurt people or anything, and I'll be respectful of people's identities and things like that. I, I just don't pull punches, you know? But with you, it's like... I'm actually feeling guilty for my normal level of snark. I had a really good time with you last night. Look, don't make fun of me. It was hard enough just saying that, and I have more to say. I had a great time with you, and I want to spend more time with you. And just to be clear, this doesn't mean I like you. I'm not sure how that's possible, but it doesn't, okay? This is about self-improvement. You have qualities that I lack, so I want to learn from you, and... Better myself. <laughs> yes, fine, I like you as well. Just don't let me say it too loud. You know, it's hard for me to understand why you, of all people, would want to be with me. Well, because I just seem like the polar opposite to you. And I have a hunch that that whole opposites attract thing is kind of bollocks. Is it the challenge? That's what it is, isn't it? You like the challenge. Uh, uh, oh, you just like me. Okay. It's really nothing more than that? Uh, can it be that simple? No, I'm, I'm not complaining. I, uh, I guess if what you're saying is true, then I can accept it. A, a hug? Um, that'd be kind of nice, but... Uh, okay, uh, but make it quick. Don't let anybody else see. Hmm. This is... Uh, you're a good hugger. Another thing to learn from you, I guess. Oh, I need to learn how to kiss, too? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I've got that down. Look, I'll prove it. There. Proven. Good kisser. You cannot deny it. <laughs> Fuck. I...
we go around the back, we can probably get to the staff room or something without anybody seeing. Ron's still on the checkout. He'll just think we're stock taking or something. Yeah, around here. Okay. I think we have the place to ourselves.